Alrighty, so welcome back to my channel. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot. This is a completely different setup. I think that it's really, really calm and peaceful. And I don't know, I'm playing with the setup right now, guys. Since I moved, I've been like just trying to find like what's my feng shui for my videos. So you guys are going to definitely see me experiment with my setup a couple of times. Okay, so yes, but... Let me know if you guys like this. I read some of your comments before you guys said that you wanted to see the card more. So that's what we're trying to do here. And of course, I'm going to make my random appearances on camera, of course. But anyways, Aries, let's go ahead and see what's going on for April 28th through the 29th. If you're new, welcome. My name is Crystal. <laughs> Join us over here. Make sure that you subscribe here to the channel. If you want to see more of my readings and yeah, if you want to personal the information's below. If you're into daily horoscopes, you can follow me on Instagram at mystical crystal tarot or on Twitter at mystical crystal. Okay. Aries, what's going to be going on with them for April 28th through the 29th. Okay. So let me fix myself over here. Cause I'm in a tight space over here. You guys can't really see me. Okay. So, recent past. We have the Knight of Swords. Present energy. We have the Four of Pentacles. Obstacle that may come up. We have the Chariot. Solution to whatever problems may come up. We have the Queen of Swords. Lesson. For this time frame, we have the Six of Wands. Guidance is the Six of Cups. And the outcome slash future, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I like the Nine of Pentacles. And that's a really good energy to leave off on. So let's go ahead and discuss this energy. So with the recent past being the knight of swords this is the energy of you guys having to act in quickness or you guys acting with the quickness this could be making impulsive decisions or um for some of you this isn't even this isn't even necessarily impulsive decisions this is more of you trying to get your head back in the game so this is you like trying to recenter your focus to be back in this mindset of I'm ready to go after my dreams. I'm ready to go after the things that I want with the Knight of Swords as well. There may have been like some sort of abrupt thing that may have came up. This may have been like you abruptly having to um, change jobs or you abruptly having to um move or like this is abrupt energy this could even be somebody like randomly reaching out to you like out of the blue and then being slightly defensive towards you in reaching out this could be like somebody who you haven't spoken to in a while and they reach out and they're like hey you haven't spoken to me in a long time and it becomes like a little argument so that may have been like the past energy um hmm there may have also been some sort of disagreement you may have had with someone in your recent past, but kind of bringing it into now, we have the, for the present energy, the four of pentacles. So this is the energy of you realizing that you may be needing to preserve your energy, possibly like pouring your energy into the right things. Cause some of you may have been putting your energy everywhere but where you needed to and this could have been like within your career or within your health and this is you starting to realize that you may be needing to be more um health conscious about the way that you may be eating the way that you may be treating your body this is the energy of you also realizing that you may be needing to save money or this is you going into this energy of saving your money you may not be like in a really bad position financially but this is more of you realizing in order to stay in a good position, this is going to require you to hold on to your reserves. 
okay? Um, this is also the energy of you realizing that someone around you just may continue to be super closed off and there's nothing that you can necessarily do to change that about this person until they decide that they want to open up, okay? Now, looking at the challenge or the obstacle that may come up. I do have the chariot. So this could be a cancer specifically. There may be a bit of a um, an issue during this time frame, or you may have a slight issue with this person, or there may be a something that needs to be resolved there. Or with the chariot, this could be like a vehicle. You guys may be needing to take care of a vehicle uh, issue. Um, what else? Um, this could be you guys also focusing on what's to come and not getting caught up on what has already happened to you. That could be a little bit of a challenge for some of you because you could be looking at what you didn't do, say, for instance, in the month of April. And you're not looking at what you can do in the month of May. So make sure you're being more aware of how you're perceiving things and how you're allowing yourself to internalize certain things. Now, when it comes to what I see for the solution to any issue you may have coming up during this time frame, we have the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, this is the need for you to make sure that you're having a more, what's the word, analytical perspective instead of wanting to result to emotions and feelings and lashing out or not even lashing out um just responding in an emotional sense to anything that may come up this is you needing to just strategize okay in moments where things don't necessarily work or we're we're going through a moment of feeling stuck the only thing that you can do is strategize not get emotional not you know take it as something that's going to be permanent but more so an opportunity for growth OK, and also this is being brutally honest with yourself in terms of what's not working and also making sure, like I said, that you guys are per um, perceiving things from a more anal analytical perspective. Oh my God, if I could talk. OK, <laughs> now when it comes to the lesson that you guys may be experiencing during this time frame. We have the six of wands. So this is a lesson on how to be more successful. And for some of you, how to maintain success, because sometimes real life hits us and it's hard to maintain success. Sometimes if we're emotional, if we're letting ourselves lose touch of who we are and our abilities, especially if you're someone who's an entrepreneur and you're making money through creative means this is a need for you to recognize that you've came this far there's a need for you to stay on top of your a game to continue to go even further this is also um you realizing what is a success and what isn't and when i say this this is like personal relationships um yeah personal relationships with that one um, but when it comes to the guidance, we do have the six of cups and there's a need for you to, again, like I said, disconnect from wanting to let your past experiences almost dictate your future experiences. But also with the six of cups, this is making sure that we're not getting too emotional in moments of like change or obstacles or like moments of growth because just because things don't feel like it's happening for you or you're having like a rough moment doesn't mean that it's permanent energy and that actually brings me to the last card which is the outcome slash future and we have the nine of pentacles so this is the energy of financial security this is the energy of um independence, being able to do things on your own, uh, being able to pay your bills and then have extra money after to where you don't feel as if you're living, you know, paycheck to paycheck or as if you're unable to, you know, support yourself. 
So with this nine of pentacles energy, it's either some of you guys are really going to be stepping it up in terms of um, like if you're an entrepreneur, this is getting back into the A game. Um, nine of pentacles for some of you, this is more of you getting, you know, a paycheck, maybe you getting paid or something and you know, you balling <laughs> after this time frame, um, with this nine of pentacles energy as well. Some of you may be, you know, even if you're in a relationship, you may be taking this more single approach and focusing on your responsibilities, if anything. But this is interesting energy. This is also you guys trying to take better care of your health, especially with like the fruits and vegetables going on in this card. Um, this is you trying to incorporate better eating habits or at least just taking care of your body a lot more, especially after eating a whole bunch of junk after quarantine or during quarantine for some of you. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure that you uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more of my readings and I will see you in the next one.